Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the morning blessings. I am Tessa Marie. Today's morning blessing is just for you. That morning blessing kept me rushing. Oh, Ceci, <laughs> thank you for coming. Put your little note. Welcome to. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for coming. Um, how are you guys doing? This morning's blessing is special. Christina, welcome back from Vancouver. I'm sure you have beautiful paintings to show me. How are you doing, each and every one of you? Today is a special day. I have a special, special morning blessings. And I am looking forward to sharing it with you, wonderful human beings. I sent some note of, hi, Billy, somebody. Welcome. Tessa, I made it. Thanks, Stacy. Um, I sent a note to a lot of you this morning because I just knew I wanted you guys to take part in this. It's, as you know, I do not, I, I was thinking while I was rushing through the shower because I took so much time to do this. Um, oh, that's nice. I, thank, thank you, Stacy. I'm happy you're here. I think you'll benefit from that. Um, I'm saying maybe I should start going into meditation at night to get the morning blessings because it's taking a lot of my time to get it going. And then I realized, oh no, it's not a good idea. You have to do it in the morning. So anyway, here we are and it's eight o'clock. So uh, those that are here are here because you're supposed to be here. And if you came late, then you came just in time to get what you need to help you to live that fulfilled life I always talk about. A fearful life gives you choices. We all have a lot of choices. Good morning, Kathleen. How are you feeling this morning? We have a lot of choices on this journey called life. Sometimes we make them without thinking, but there's a choice we have and we forget, really truly forget to make that choice sometimes, right? And we just gallop through the day and come on the other side. Um, and when we do that, we are losing the energy and the essence of being who we are. So, you know, we talk about that. The five pillars of prosperity is out. I'm having a seminar on the 28th of September, every Saturday for an hour. And on Tuesdays on 7 p.m., starting the 25th, and every Tuesday for seven weeks. They're all seven weeks. But anyway, let's leave this behind. I Let's get this show. It's actually after eight. I didn't see that. So, your heading is, we all have feelings to express. We all of us, we have feelings to express. Um, thank you, Stacy. We, we all have something we can share. We do. Sometimes we think... What we have to share, nobody needs it, but we do not know unless we share it. And yes, sometimes when we share it, some people get hurt and not because of what we share, but because of how it affects them. But today, what I'm going to ask you to share is going to come from inside of you. It's unusual for me to get that. It is not an article, it's not your money, it is not your clothes, it's not your house, it's not your car, it's not your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband. It is something that comes from you. And the way to share it is going to be a little bit different. We all have to look at it and share it. I need to check every now and again to tell you guys. Hello, um, Christina. Hello, Arita. Thanks for joining. Hi, Colin. Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining. So, it requires an action. It must be from you to someone in your life. Someone you have not taken the time to express how you feel about them. Every one of us has that person. Each and every one of us has that person. So, that's why... I want you to do this. And I forgot to bring the main thing. But that's okay. <laughs> it will it will flow. It, again, it was rushing, right? Because this took a lot of thought to get going. Maybe in passing, you, you, you did by words. Perhaps they heard you. Or maybe they did not. 
And, and sometimes we do it so flippantly. I'm not going to say yet what we do. And sometimes if they hear us, they shut us up. And that is also defeating for us. So one of those things that, that we do, we give a friend a compliment and we say it. We tell them, thank you, or you look beautiful, or this is nice. Oh yeah, this is all an old dress I had 45 years ago. It was in the cupboard and really was uncomfortable. All of that. Instead, they, they, did they hear? Or did they not value your words? And sometimes we ourselves do not value it when somebody says you are great at what you do. But you have worked for it. You went to school for it. You studied it. You repeated it. You are pushing through. And then this, oh, well, you have an excuse. We, we have to stop this. We have to accept the compliments when they come. What you receive, if you hold it, you will get more of it. It's when you let it go that it falls and you do not even know where it is. So, hi, Lon, how are you this morning? So, what we must remember, how are you feeling today, Lorna, is that that thing I'm talking about is unique. Um, it requires an action you sum, to someone in your life you have not taken the time to express how you feel about them. Maybe in passing, as I said, you said something to them and, you know, and they took it and they maybe ask, answer, ask you another question or they said something to you that was, as I sh just shared, sometimes we wait too late and then it is really too late. Sometimes we wait too late to do this and it's really too late. And when it is so late, I have to show you guys, what did I do? Is it, oh my God so sorry and when it is too late hi Kimberly how are you feeling this morning good morning my sister how are you feeling this morning and because it's too late we end up in the village of regret and everybody who is in this village with us also has one or the other type of regret maybe similar maybe the same or maybe very different as I said and you guys know the pose when somebody is telling you about what they regretted, they, if it's a man, they cross their legs at their knee and the legs are dangling. They bend their body and bring themselves smaller. They're with you, but they're looking at you, but you know they're not with you. Their eyes is so far away. They're reliving the regret all over. And that's painful if you know what's going on. The woman, ah, we sigh. We put our hand underneath our chin and we hold it in because we're supposed to carry the load. We'll say, you know, we wish you shouldn't do this. You, should, you shouldn't do this. But sometimes we will not share why I'm telling you, you shouldn't do this. I, somebody asked me, what would you change about your life? You know, like Sidney Poitier said, I will not change anything. The older I get, the more I realize without all of these challenges and joys and opportunities and all of those things that I jumped into both feet in and forgot, that I should have look for a net, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change it for one simple reason is, if not, there is no Tessa Marie. Today person is just the making was all those things all those years ago. It was. And then it's there, so where are you? I love who I am. I don't expect everyone to love me, but I love the kind of person I am. I will tell you the truth, it might hurt. I will not mince words for you if you're being an ass. And maybe sometimes I'll simply just ignore you and wait to get you another day. That's just me, it's true. It's not the most pleasant part of it, is it? But I do. 
Sometimes we wait too late and then it is really too late. Then we, exp then we express it at a funeral service. <gasps> and we cry and we express it when they're dead and they cannot hear us. Yet the, the poet said, give me the rose when I can smell it. And we are waiting to give that person that rose when they cannot spell it. One of my friends said to me, you should have seen I had 60 white roses on my father's casket. And then I was crying. I didn't answer, I just listened. I have nothing to say. I told you guys already, I cried when my mother died because my father would miss my mother. It wasn't a lot. I just realized how much he depended on her. I didn't cry when my mom died. I looked at it and I went, hmm, you ran a great race. You left such an amazing emotional, mental, spiritual legacy behind. And somebody said, you're not crying. I said, no, she's tired. She did too much. So it's okay, though, because I have no unfinished business with that woman. I did not. And that's exactly how I said it. I, as I will say, because it's too late, they can't fire me. I made lots of phone calls from TD Bank to my parents. And when I came back from her funeral, I did this. And then I stopped. I couldn't call her. And that hurt. But I had the knowledge that I had spoken to her every day around 11 a.m. Every day. So when she died, I didn't have anything to say. So what I am asking you to do, I'm asking you to choose someone in your life. And this is the key word. Write a letter to them. Make sure it is not to a person whom you have hurt or a person who disappointed you or hurt you, not to that person. So that's going to be, I'm not asking you to ask for forgiveness. I am not asking you to write to somebody that, that hurts you, that squeezed you, that took advantage of you, that beat you, that insulted you, not that person. It is, a real letter, not a text or an email. Don't do that. I wanted to show you what I have, and I left it upstairs. And I, we don't have the time for me to go back to get it. I have writing paper. I enjoy writing notes. One year, Kathleen made me writing paper for my Christmas present, and because she, she's very artistic. And that was perfect for me. I, I love it. And I wrote notes on it. I buy the nice ones. I use a lovely pen, a blue ink pen, because it's a brighter, lovelier, more e exciting color. And write it. Write a note to somebody. Again, not because that person hurts you. The miracle for you will happen when you go from your, your heart to your hand to a pen to actual paper, a continuous flow of energy from your heart to your hand, to the pen, to the paper. And listen to me, the pen has energy. Some things in there were created from something natural. The DNA did not disappear when they took it from whatever, whether it was oil from the ground, ground to make the plastic. The paper from a tree, it doesn't really matter, but there's energy and energy's DNA does not go away just because we changed it. It stays the same. So choose good paper. You like, choose, choose good paper, something you like. Choose a blue ink pen. You can decorate the page if you like. You can choose to do whatever it is you do. You, like enlightenment, what do I say? Light a candle, a light in front of you. The energy of the flame, the heat from the flame will stimulate your mind. A new, uh, and light a candle, not an old candle you have sitting around that you lit before and you turn it off. Not that one. You're looking for a feeling that you cannot replace once you, do, once you have done that. Light a candle, a new one. Not an old candle hanging around the house. You deserve better than that. And 
why am I telling you you deserve better than that? I did not say they whom you're going to write to deserves better than that. Because you see, it is for you you're doing this. It's not to whom you're sending it. Remember that. Everything we do, we do for ourselves. Remember that. So you deserve a new candle. You deserve pretty paper. You deserve a lovely pen. You deserve to feel great that day. You deserve to have a shower before you do it. You deserve to dress and look amazing and perfume it your area yourself. You deserve that. So you're going to do this for someone else, but really, it's for you. This is purposeful, intentional. You do not have to make it perfect. You do not have to make sure every word is spelled perfectly. That is one thing I don't really care. Your job is to do it. Perfection does not exist because otherwise, every rose on those rose bushes would be the same coming from the same substance. That is why we must accept others for who they are. We are all different. Right from your heart, you may cry. If you really take this seriously, do not ignore it. I am promising you miracles and magic if you do this. You may cry. You may, you may even get in, in confused. You may, you may feel like your head is bursting. You may feel like, I don't know. Oh, you, and it will stimulate emotions if you, you didn't know you had. Ex consider a parent if you are still blessed to have one of those. Just one. If you have two, write one note addressed to both. Um, and that is what happened. Hi, Azim, how are you feeling today? So consider if you have a parent to write that note to your parents. Two is better. Still, you're still blessed to have them. Make sure you let them know. Address it to both parents. You can write it to a lover, a friend, a child. Go further than that, though. That than the blood family. Go further than writing it to your blood family. Reach out to the person we all have that is in our lives and we can lean back and let ourselves fall and we know they'll catch us. And if we do not have that person, if none of us, any one of you or I, do not have that person in our life, that we know if we throw our body back and lean into them. Hi, Yoko. Good morning. How are you feeling? And they'll catch us. They will support us. They will hold us up. They might tell us we are being foolish. They might slap us into today. They might make us realize the steps we are taking is not going to help us. If you have that person that can tell you when you're sinking that you can swim, stop crying, wake up. Or that person that said, you know, yes, it's okay. You can cry. You have a choice to cry today. Then send it to them. Now, it's not an easy thing to do. All of what I said seems simple. But what I am asking you to do is to do this and see how that person reacts to you. Take the time and put the effort into doing this, not quickly on your phone, ding, 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 on the phone. Not that. Please avoid that. Please avoid it. Prepare to do it. It's a purpose, intentional action. Not an email either. If you cannot find, and you, if when you go to buy that note paper, because many of us do not write notes. I love writing notes. I tell you what I do. The one of my children that is away from me is my son. And when he comes to visit, I write a note to him, seal it, and I stick it somewhere in his case, somewhere. I started that the first day he left and we went with him, Jillian and I, to America. 
and we spent and when i was leaving i left it he found it and he it made him emotional and you know i have done it ever since so he, he realized each time i did it it touched a nerve that made him extremely emotionalized so he says to me i haven't found it yet but i'm not opening it i don't open them anymore i'm just packing them there i have a whole box of them and he said one day maybe when you're no longer here i will read them it didn't matter to me it did not matter to me because you see i did it for me i told him what i said and if you were to ask me i cannot repeat the one that i would have written this morning i wouldn't know what i wrote like everything else many of you text me and say oh i love your blessing i say what did i say i don't know why because i always know for sure i give you my heart as i said you might not like it but i give you what i have and that is how I write that. And that's what I'm asking you to do. Do not turn around and send this thing to somebody via a text. You deserve better than that. Do not make an email. Take the time. And if you do not have writing paper, please go to the store. Go to Walmart or one of the, and get something. The dollar store has them. Get some stickers and put on it. Make it pretty for you. That when you're writing that note to somebody, and as I said, it, you, it, you, you can start at home because they tell us that charity begins at home, but it doesn't end here. What I wanted to show you guys is in Brian's memorial book. And I, when it went through on the screen at his funeral, the... Um, the, my boss, Alan Stern, at the time at JVS, said to me, when did you write this? I said, in 1989. And he goes, wow. So I always wrote him notes, and I put whatever. And I let him know, we are aware, because I read it, of what you do for us. We are, I'm very aware of what you do for me and the children. And I want to let you know how much I love and appreciate all of that. So you have a husband, you've been with him for 10 years and more, or two years or a year, and you do not care to take the time, you haven't come to the conclusion that you require to take that time, hi Cyrus, how are you feeling today? To write that little note to that human being in your life. They're like a couch. If it's a woman, they're like the couch. You come home and you sit on it. But you do not realize that there is one day that couch will not be there. And when you go to sit, you'll break your back. And it's, he's okay. She's okay. No, they're not. Let them know how much you appreciate them. I said charity begins at home. It doesn't have to end there. I said it requires an action. It must be from your from you to someone in your life, you have not taken the time to express how you feel about them. Maybe in passing, I told you, you, you did by a word, oh, I love you, I feel so good, I'm so happy for you. And maybe they heard you, maybe they acknowledged hearing you, maybe they didn't, right? And there you go. Sometimes we want to, we wait too late and we stand at our mother's and father's grave they don't know who you are and they're hurting because they didn't hear you you never took the time to do it before so what you need to do now is to stop stop in the moment take the time the miracle for you will happen when you go from your heart to your hand to a pen to paper choose good paper you are deserving of better you're not doing it for your friend your lover or the person that really was nice to you 
you're doing it for yourself. And when we do things for ourselves, we need to learn to appreciate how amazing and wonderful we are. We need to take the time. And it's going to be hard. You, it, it seems like an easy project. But try it. it. It's going to take time for you to get there. It's going to take time for you to actually do it. It's going to take time for you to know where you are headed. And that is why you have to take the time to do it. Breathe into it. This is hard to do. It seems easy. Oh, I can just write the note. No, you can. You have preparation to make. Your body, your mind, your soul, the very you have to be prepared. You need a candle, a nice new one. We have to learn to realize that every action we take, we take it for ourselves. It's not for the person you're doing it for. Stop believing that. So when you give all your nerve and your sinew to somebody, you are choosing to do that for yourself. You want to feel, I did my best. You want somebody to say, well, you really stuck up for them. And maybe you cannot help it. You cannot see another person suffer and you want to make sure you can quench their thirst. How do you feel after? Because you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for those people. So therefore, value you. Remember, you're worthy. You're good enough. You've got all it takes. And do this. And when it is presented to that other human being, let them feel the presentation. Let them feel it. Post it. Mail it. But please do not text it or email it or whatever we do, WhatsApp people, what's down it. No. If you want to receive the miracles you're seeking in your life, because I don't care who you are, we all are looking for miracles. We all are looking for amazing and wonderful miracles. And therefore, that is why we have to do our best. So the miracles that we're seeking will show up in our life. And that's what my message is for you today. Reach out and touch someone. Because in the purpose and the reason of touching, the reaching out, you're touching yourself. Everything we do, feel, and say is all about us. Even if we throw it at somebody with love. I'm not going to say the other one. So the thing is, I want you to choose someone that you love so dearly or you just know they need it. What about that person who has nobody to talk to them today? You see them, you visit them. But I wondered if you surprised them with a note and they got it in the mail. Have to do today. So anyway, let me take you guys to the back and see who is here. And if you got it, hello, Belinda. You have to listen to this later. Um, Belinda, Kimberly, thank you. Christine, thank you for coming. Stacy, Rita, Yuko, Lisa, um, Christina, forever, and um, Dawn, Kathleen, and Lorna. The thing is. When I get something to deliver, we to put this into practice. Thank you. Thank you, Lana. I wish George was there. I know she's busy today. Um, when you put it, like Lana said, into practice, you will find out you will be the one lifted up. Although the person to whom you are sending this handwritten, lovely paper, blue ink pen note, and please remember, it's not to the person that hurt you. It's not to the person that made you cry. It's not to the person that disappointed you. It's to that person you know. You just want to let them know how much I feel about you. And do not wait to do it at the funeral. Please do not wait at the funeral to do it. If it's a parent, and they're both alive and you're blessed. Send it to two of them together. One note. And good morning, Marina. How are you feeling today? And if it is, you have a parent alive, 
just reach out. Because you cannot give them the rose when they cannot smell it. Or you might. 30 white roses on her father's casket was the most important thing for her. And she was proud to say that. I gave my mother some, what is it? Was it freshwater pearls? That's, I just wanted her to have that. I had already done my part. And that is what was important. So to all of you, have a wonderful day. And those of you who got it and you have questions about it, just DM me and I'll take you through the journey personally. Have an absolutely an amazing day. Love you.